From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is Info You Update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio. Sooner men's basketball team back on the court Wednesday night against Kansas State. Six o'clock tip down at the Lloyd Noble Center. And Joe Masato joins us on the phone to talk about uh, the Sooners. Joe, a, a close uh, win against TCU over the weekend. Now K-State comes to town. And K-State's been kind of an interesting story. They've been all over the map, it seems, in terms of performance. Uh, what's the challenge for the Sooners uh, in taking on the Wildcats Wednesday night? Well, I think you touched on it. One of the challenges, they don't really know which K-State team they're going to get. I mean, this team was thought to be one of the best in the conference coming into the season, made that Elite Eight run last year. Dean Wade is the preseason player of the year. Uh, he's been out with a foot injury. He actually came back last game. So that'll be a big boost for the Wildcats. But this is another game kind of like TCU where, you know, the Sooners just have to, in this conference, you basically have to try to win all your home games because you know how hard it is uh, going on the road. But I think Wade being back uh, versus, you know, Kansas State just got a huge win at Iowa State in their last time out. So playing with a little bit of confidence here. Well, let's talk a little bit about Dean Wade because uh, one of the top players in the league coming into the year, injured, the fact that he's played so minimally, uh, I, I know that uh, he's going to be uh, a guy that the Sooners are aware of, but how does that change uh, you, you know, what K-State will bring to town and, and what Oklahoma is going to have to worry about in this game? You know, we asked Tom Kruger about that yesterday, and he basically said Wade's not going to be back to 100% yet. I think he played 22 minutes his last time out. Uh, I mean, a different situation, but it's kind of like the Jamani McNeese thing that we followed all year long is that, you know, it's going to take him a little while when you come back midseason to get back into form. But I, I think the primary thing it gives Kansas State is just another weapon on the floor, even if he's not at, at 100%. Uh, he, he's so good that he just attracts the attention of the defense. So for OU's front court, uh, defending him inside, he can step out on the perimeter uh, is a really good passer for a big guy. So he, he just controls a lot of things with their offense. Hey, lastly, Joe, I mentioned that uh, close win against TCU that Sooners had over the weekend. Uh, you know, they've, they've, they've lost in the Big 12, obviously, but to win at home and, and to win close games, uh, if you're going to challenge for one of those top spots, a game like K-State's pretty big. What's the, what's the feeling right now on the team as it relates to you know where this team is now a couple weeks into Big 12 play and having another home game, just how important it is uh, to win this one? I think it's a really big one because they, they've put themselves in good position and that you know they have beaten no issue at home and TCU at home. This is, you hate to say must win this early because they're still in you know great shape to make the tournament, but as far as competing in the Big 12, Games like this are almost must win just because, you know, they've already lost games on the road at Kansas and at Texas Tech. Those are sort of expected, but on the flip side, you have to win the games that you're expected to win, and, and those are the home games. But I think the TCU win was a big boost. A lot of pressure would have been on them for this game had they not won that one. But I, I think you just look at teams like Kansas State, TCU, uh, Texas, Iowa State, all those teams are sort of jumbled right in the middle of the conference, maybe looking up at Texas Tech and Kansas. But after that, it, it seems pretty wide open. All right. Again, an important game for a Big 12 pecking order. We'll see how the Sooners come out. 6 o'clock Wednesday night, K-State comes to town down at Lloyd Noble Center. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.